Is the till working on that machine? I promised everybody I would show you how I make the uh, camera system. So this is just kind of an overview. Uh, you can see the monitor up there and it does have a nice sharp picture. That is a 720p monitor that you can pick up from Sam's for $144. Uh, the camera itself is a 1080p camera. Uh, it's just a security camera. I can't remember the exact format that it's in, uh, but it, it's one of those multi-format cameras. There's a, there's, there we go. So you've got several different formats that it can switch into by holding it and I'll look it up online and I'll, I'll post a link uh, in the description <clears throat> and you'll also notice that when I mounted this to the uh, top of the cabinet I, I put it on a uh, on a swivel or on a what do you call that thing that hinge. Can, hinge it's on a hinge right so <laughs> It's on, a, it's on a hinge, and the reason I did that, because when you need to pull the play field all the way up, you just take this and just swing it back out of the way like that, and now you can rest the play field up against the, the back box there. So, And also, underneath here, there are a couple of screws that you can use to adjust this up and down. And the reason you want that, you don't want it to come, you notice it kind of comes up at a slight angle. You don't want it to come straight out, because if you do, and what happens is that camera ends up being down. It ends up covering the like the graphics. So if you'll just put a couple of screws in there, then you can adjust it out and raise that up to kind of get that out of your way. <clears throat> now, um, this is a live shot. So that's a live shot going straight from the camera, from the play field, up to the play field monitor. There's a, there is a slight delay. People have tried to play by looking up the monitor instead of looking down at the flippers. And it's, it's in the... It's on the order of milliseconds, but there is still a slight delay between what's happening here and what you see up there. So you don't want to try to play looking up there. <clears throat> um, these cameras, this particular camera um, is $30. The most important thing when you're looking for a security camera is, is one, the format, which will I'll, like I say, I'll put that in the description. But the other is the type of camera uh, as far as the lens so you need one that you're able to focus and zoom so you can kind of put it in At a 90 degree, but you have to be able to zoom in where you've got the play field perfect from top to bottom if you buy one that uh, Doesn't have the zoom feature then you don't know what you're going to get depending on your length your your length here uh, What you're going to end up with up there, and this is the conversion box. This is coming uh, this cable is coming in from the camera and then it goes down into the conversion box and uh, and then you've got your HDMI out. You need to be very careful with the electricity um, in these two different um, devices because this is a 12 volt feed going to the camera and this is a 5 volt feed and I can tell you from experience if you swap these you'll be buying a new box because it will destroy this box. So make sure you put the 12 volt here and the five volt here uh, and don't mix that up. So basically this, is, this takes the, uh, the camera signal in, converts it to HDMI, then you just take the HDMI signal, run it straight up into the, into the back of the TV. You can purchase this box from, give me a second, Mono Price. Uh, and it's a TVI AHD to HDMI converter. And, the, and that's the thing, you gotta make sure the camera that you buy is, 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 has either TVI or AHD signal in order to convert it. And this is one of those multi-cameras that, and I'll like say on the, on the link you'll see, if I hold this in one, one of the four ways it actually converts the signal to a different type of signal. But I think any, just about all of them will work going into this box, but, but just play with it and find the one that looks the best, and that's the one you, that you wanna use. So you've kinda of seen the mount, and you can use any mount, you, you know, you can mount it however you want, but this mount makes it, the way I mounted it here, while it's not pretty, you don't really, nobody ever looks up at this thing, you know, when you got the lights down and people are just playing. You, you know, nobody looks up to the camera's ugly or whatever. And, and you have to remember that this play, this is an arcade and it's set up for competitive play. It's not in my garage or, or in my game room at home. So 
As long as the machine is functioning well and doing what it's supposed to do, I don't really care how this looks. Some people will, and you know, you may not want to do a gallery monitor system. Um, and another thing too about mounting it to the back box, the nice thing is if I slide this whole pinball machine, you notice how that does not move. See that? Everything moves, everything moves together. So even if people shake the machine, the image up top stays pretty steady. Uh, and by the way, this is just, the way I cut, this is 24, this is 24 inches long. And I wanna say that the actual mounting bracket is um, what I actually screw it into the top of the pinball machine. is maybe two, two or three inches long. I don't remember exactly. So, and then these are just uh, those little sticky squares that you can uh, put a zip tie on to hold the, you know, to hold the cable going down into the camera. So anyway. Total for all of it. Total for all of it. Oh, oh, the total price for um, the, that's $144 at Sam's. That is, uh, I think, $40 on eBay. And then the conversion box is, and I don't remember exactly, it's $70 to $90. Uh, and then, you know, making your, your mount or whatever. I mean, you can do it for less than $350 per machine. Uh, and as you can see, I've got, I've done it a lot. <laughs> Uh, and it really, really pays off for uh, competitive pinball. It's, it's worth it. It's, it's worth the uh, few extra dollars to do it. So anyway, hope everybody kind of understands how I did it now and uh, give it a shot. And if you end up uh, building a gallery monitor for your system, do me a favor and leave it in the, uh, in the responses. I'd like to see what you guys come up with. Thanks. Have a great weekend, guys.